right, guys, Math Chat 31. Hopefully these math reviews have been helping you guys and that you've been able to go through each of the concepts pretty seamlessly. Um, I'm going to be starting off here with reviewing each one of the concepts and then letting you guys continue to work on it independently. Starting here with algebraic thinking, you guys need to complete the patterns that are given to you. So not always are the patterns going to be addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. It's going to change based on the pattern, the first three numbers in the sequence. So here I have 15, 30, 45. What is happening between the first and second and second and third? You're going to want to continue that pattern for the rest of the digits. Okay. Um, here, 4, 8, 16, what is happening between the first, second, and second, third? Continue that pattern. And then 3, 6, 9, what's happening? And you're going to want to continue that pattern. Down here for base 10 numbers, it says write the place value and the value of the underlined digit. So, for example, you have 1 and 65 hundredths here. You're going to want to write down that uh, the place value of the underlying digit is the tenths, that six is in the tenths place value. So I'm gonna say it is in the tenths place value and the value is six tenths total, okay? You're gonna wanna continue with that with these two numbers here. Down below for fractions, um, you have one and four fifths plus one third and you are gonna have two and one ninth minus two fourths. You're going to want to convert uh, in each of the mixed numbers into improper fractions and then use the butterfly method to continue the rest of the process. Down here for measurement and data, on Sunday morning, Mrs. Turner made two gallons of juice. How many cups did she make? I have in this link attached the King Gallon uh, video again as a reference for you guys to use for conversion of gallons, cups, quarts, pints, etc. You're going to want to do some uh, breakup change, get back together um, problems or processes right here for measurement and data. And then last but not least in geometry, you are going to need to determine if each statement is true or false and then explain your answer. A square is a polygon, so all polygons are square. True or false, explain. A rectangle is a specific type of parallelogram. True or false, or and explain. And I've also given you guys, um, again, the quad squad uh, image you can view to help you solve these. And you don't actually need that triangle one today. But that quad squad uh, chart will help you uh, determine whether or not these are true or false statements for geometry. All right, that's it for Math Chat 31. Take care and good luck.